I don't think so. I can finish whole chapter today, but let's see how much we can because it's very very big. Okay, so let's start with this question today. If a domestic appliance draws two point five ampere from two twenty voltage, sixty hertz AC power supply, find average current, average square root of Current means means value, root mean value, and current amplitude that is I naught. So amplitude in the sense how to find those things like uh, wherever we have equation uh, I equals to I naught sine omega t. So this is your amplitude. So the peak value is your amplitude. Amplitude in the sense maximum point here. This is your amplitude. So here I naught is my amplitude. If it is V here, then V naught is amplitude. So whatever maximum value we have, that is the amplitude. Okay. So for first thing, average current. So average current. Here we are writing zero. So if you remember yesterday we discussed. So average value of this, it is positive, it is negative. So this both cycle, if I find, it will be zero. One is positive. Zero. Yeah, one is positive i, one is negative i. So both, if I add, it will become zero. So that is the reason it is average current as zero. It is mentioned as zero. Especially for sinusoidal wave. Sinusoidal means sine wave. This is your sine wave. <laughs> Next. Square value of current. So average square value equals to average RMS value. RMS is what? Root mean value only. It's almost square value only. So if I square this one, 25 square is 625. So 6.25. This question is not so difficult. Then current amplitude, I naught value. So how to find I naught? Like I equals I RMS equals to I naught by root two. So if I multiply this I RMS into root two, and yeah, even yesterday also I said, if it is more not mentioned, we will consider that as a I RMS value. See, it is not mentioned anything. It is a peak value, not, nothing it is mentioned. So it is RMS value only for this one, as well as voltage, both. both. Current and voltage both are RMS value until it is not mentioned. Samhita didn't join. Pawan, what topic is going on in your college? The kinematics. And Still Newton's kinematics? 
it's revision sir okay revision for first year revision okay j mention advance sir okay then actual like school topic means exam board exam topic what are, what is going on no, we are not focusing on board exams okay at present fine 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 so i guess you might be able to solve easily right kinematics because we have already revised here itself yes sir yes were you there at that time when we did yes, sir. kinematics yes sir okay okay i was absent for mostly dual nature of lights dual nature of oh, lights that is also important here modern physics yes sir modern physics is four question we need that so just go through those topics okay i'll post some yes, recordings oh, not recording sorry notes so just swipe the, those notes i'll send it yesterday even she also asked aditi also asked i'll post all the like whatever chapter i have completed i'll post notes in our like uh, resource itself okay sir so that you can just scroll it okay these are the topics these are topics we did like that fine thanks yeah 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 ठीक है so same way we we find vrms value means what vm by root 2 vm or uh, v not whatever we say doesn't matter same thing so supply voltage amplitude means peak values so even if you divide by root 2 you will get same answer check check your answers are you getting same do it fast it's a easy easy yes sir Aditi, yes sir. Then, okay. Chalo. So next, करेंगे <coughs> impedance. no impedance is also like see uh, you might know but uh, for 11th graders this is new things so let me make it very very simple first mm. yeah it's like a resistance see uh, we have we have resistors we have inductor we have capacitor three types of ac uh, devices okay those all three things will have like uh, capacitor inductor or let me write here capacitor l and r so this is already resistor this has resistance and even this has resistance all three has resistance but in different different manner so we cannot uh, this unit is like a farad this unit is henry this unit is ohm we can use all this three together so for using all these three together we have one common thing we can convert this into resistor in that is x form we have given the symbol as x x l x x c so now this unit is ohm and this unit is ohm so we have to we have convert this one and if we add all this resistor in some different different way so that will give you one impedance so impedance is just like resistor so v equals to i r in this whole chapter we are just going around v equals to i r so here r is z z is your impedance so did you got some basic idea चलो इंपिडेंस इज इट इज द रेशियो ऑफ ई एम एफ टू द करंट 
means V by I. Now, if we are, so you remember one thing here, if we are using here peak value, then current will also be used peak value. If you're using RMS value, we'll use RMS value of this one also, same. Both should be same. We cannot like interchange. So ratio of V by I, V and I is your impedance. Impedance unit is also ohm. Next, reactance, as I said before, X we are using, it is a resistance which is offered in inductor as well as capacitor. So if we are using an inductor, we, we will say inductive reactance. It is here also. If we are using in capacitor, it is capacitive reactance. It is symbolized as XL and XC. So both are resistors only. Okay, this impedance is like to, uh, total resistors, we can say. Here Z, wherever we are using, uh, let me write, V equals to I, Z. If you're using like this, then Z should be together of XL, R, and XC together. If we are using only R, we will say V, I, R means remaining two are zero. Then we'll see one by one. We'll come to that. So are you able to understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yeah, you will understand because you already have studied. What about Aditi? So your voice is breaking. Can you repeat again? Are you able to understand what I'm saying here? No, sir. I understood it. You understood? Okay. Yeah, Pawan will understand because he already studied. Right? Yes, sir. Sir, actually, we uh, went a little further in this AC and DC motor in our 10th grade. So, yeah, I know about this. Like, a physics sir gave us a project kind of thing. And we had to oh. do research. So I remember quite a lot of things from that. Okay. Then it is good. Then this won't be a problem of understanding. Okay. So now we will draw here phaser diagram. This is a most important part of this. And it is very, very easy. So AC circuit containing only resistance. So whenever it is only resistance, they both current and voltage are in same phase. Same phase in the sense they start from the same sphere. So observe this. See, they both are in same. They're starting from the same sinusoidal wave. They are showing same sinusoidal wave. Just a little bit up down. Maybe value might differ. But they both have same phase angle. Now, if it is someone is leading or lagging, it is shown like this. Okay, well, let me see. Yeah, here. It is shown like this. See, it is. 
flagging here. And here it is leading. At this point, we are considering, see, at the half, it is already started before. Okay. So, v E equals to E naught sine omega T, I equals to I naught sine omega T. So, I naught is the amplitude or the peak value. In your question, if they may ask, like previously we saw just now, previous question, like uh, they, they ask amplitude. So, I naught and E naught are the amplitudes. Finish this. Yeah, this thing you already know. The resistor will uh, behave same manner. Let it be AC or DC, doesn't matter. Still, it will work. Your fan is the type of resistor. But inside, it has coil as well as we have capacitors also. In fan, but if I take the general standard resistor, it will work as same. Let it be inductor, oh, sorry, not inductor, let it be like a AC supply or DC supply. Sir, DC supply, sir, inductor. Sorry? DC supply. Yeah, DC supply. This is your DC supply. This is your AC supply. Maybe you are asking some doubt. I didn't get you get your point. Nothing, sir. Okay. Shall we go next? Yes, sir. Shallow. Now we will see inductor only. So if for inductors, AC containing inductor only, inductance only. So for that, we need to know one formula, E equals to L di by d2. There is some previous, pre two previous chapters formula. 
Okay. So L e equals to L di by dt. So from there only we will use this e value. So e, this formula e equals to e naught sine omega t is common. Okay. So we'll just substitute this e and e naught, but we will take here mode of it. We will not consider minus sign here. We don't want those minus sign right now. So we will left with di by dt and then e naught by l. E naught by L will take it as I can write here I e equals to V by R. Okay. But this should be resistor here. Ohm's law says voltage by ohm is equals to ampere. But this is not ohm yet. So we need to convert this into XL as it is inductor circuit. So that's what we are going to do here. So L uh, di by di equal, di by dt equals to e naught by L sine omega t. This is okay. If we integrate this one, di equals to e naught by L sine omega t dt. So if we integrate sine, we'll get cos minus cos. So uh, if you know or not, let's sine ax dx will give you minus cos ax by a. So whatever formula we are using in integration, this will be as denominator. This constant term will be as denominator. If you remember, it was x equals to n plus 1 by n plus 1. So we brought this constant term down. Similar way. For all this sine, cos, tan, if we get a as a constant term there, we will just have in denominator. So, which is equals to minus cos omega t by omega. And this L omega will write as XL. XL equals to L omega. And even I want cos in terms of sine. So, I can write as sine 90 minus theta is cos theta. Sine 90 minus theta is cos theta. So, I wrote here 90 minus theta. And sin 90 minus theta, theta is means omega t here. So if it is minus, if I change this inside, it will become omega t minus 90 minus theta. So 90 by uh, omega, theta minus 90. And this L omega will write as XL. That is what we give a name, inductive reactance, that is XL. So, okay, if we're done, we can go forward. This we are saying minus, we are getting here minus 90. That means current is lagging E. Why we are saying lagging? Because here we have taken sine omega T. Here we are getting sine omega T minus 90. So it is minus, so we are saying it is lagging. So in inductor, current, lag.
So lagging means we can draw this way. It's already reached here with the time. Lagging this is lagging with time. See this. And voltage is starting from here. Have you drawn? <clears throat> okay. Then this one, Aditi, for one. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. Next, we will see here. See here, the same thing we are going to do in next thing also. So we will just introduce here Q because of Q equals to CV. Remember this formulas. Q equals to CV. Charge equals to capacitance. Capacitance into voltage. The same thing if we differentiate here, we will get plus cos theta. We, if we want to convert this, we'll have cos omega t plus 90. Simple, same way. And this, I'm sorry, this is not the color. Yeah. This omega and C will be termed as constant. And this, if I write here in below, it will become 1 by omega C. So 1 by omega C is, we will write as Xc now. So Xc means I naught equals to E naught by XC, as we saw before. It was E naught by XL, and this E naught by XC, same thing. So as we are getting this plus 90, that means it is leading this value of this one is leading it is already ahead of voltage it is ahead of voltage ahead in the sense we will say 90 here this is your 90 degrees same goes for here this is your 90 degrees This is just a capacitive circuit. It's very, very simple.
Okay. So next here, we will talk about this impedance. Impedance we wrote here is that equal to e naught by i naught. So e naught by i naught, and z is also equals to here. Yeah, if this was in same phase, and this were either increasing or decreasing. Now this may differ. Okay, this values may differ. Uh, either this XL may be more or XCV might be more. So it depends upon like question to question. So no need to worry about that. Just go with this simple formula. So whatever we are getting, obviously it will be like uh, vector addition a square plus b square plus 2ab cos theta. But here we are saying cos theta is 0. It's 90 degree. They both are angle between them is 90 degree. So the cost ninety is zero. So we'll not consider that. We'll just see here. R square plus XL minus XC the whole square. This is your phase angle phi. So tan equals to perpendicular by base. So perpendicular is XL minus XC by base R. These are some simple graphs. Next is your quality factor. Quality means uh, how much good it is. How much good it is of that resonance. Okay, so quality factor means what? A sharpness of tuning at the resonance. Now, what do you mean by resonance? Do anyone know that? Sir, XL yes. must be equal to XC. Yes, that is by formula wise. But what do you mean by what is exactly like the resonance? Sir, in mobile phones, a particular wave frequency hits the mobile phone to ring it. So the wave frequency must be in resonance with the LCR circuit in the mobile phones. Yeah, exactly. So like we can say a merging, merging of frequency. So they get sync or merging or like we can say they, they're getting sync. The frequencies are getting sync. That is resonance circuit. Whenever there is a frequency sync, those circuits are a resonance. And as you said, yes, XL equals to XL equals to XC. The quality factor Q equals to 1 by R under root of L by C. So, when quality factor is higher, sharper resonance. And where the sharper resonance, the rapid fall of current becomes maximum. So, it is falling rapidly.
Okay, what is the maths class timing today? Has sir posted any math class? Sir, he didn't post anything. Hmm. Let me check. No, he said no something. Seven p.m. to eight thirty p.m. Okay. Seven. Okay. Next. Power. Yeah, power formula we know, right? P equals to V I or V squared by R or what is the other formula? This thing is telling 10 standard also. What are power formulas? What are power formulas? So I can hear. Uh, no. What is them? What are power formulas? Quickly tell me. What about you, Pawan? The P equal to I V uh, average power equal to I naught V naught cos phi by two. Okay. What is V by R square? V by V by R square or V square by R? No, V square by R, sorry. Yeah. And what else? One more formula you missed. I square R. Yes, sir. Yeah. So are you making the list of formulas? Yes, sir. Did I ask you to do make one notebook, small notebook for the formulas only? Keep updating that formula notebook. Okay. So power is what? Rate of doing work. Simple. So here we need P equals to V I. So P is power e is your EMF or EMF current. EMF and the I is current. So E equals to E naught sin omega T and I equals to I naught sin omega T plus 5. So 5 we are adding here because they might be plus positive or they might be in some other phase and it might be zero. So we are considering as phi. So phi might be inductive or whatever it is. It's not of, we're just taking as common. Let it be any. So it can be inductive circuit, R, R circuit or L circuit or C circuit or RLC circuit, whatever. So that is the reason we are taking as plus five. So we have here I not side omega t plus five 
e not sin omega t so this so we will take average power as e rms i rms cos phi so uh, we can write as e not by root 2 i not by root 2 cos phi so cos phi is equal to 0 when theta equals to 90 degree that means they all are perpendicular to each other so this is for r l sorry l and c circuit or lc circuit cannot be for r they both are in same phase for r they both are in same phase if you remember they both were moving in same phase for l and c they might be at 90 degree so phase angle as we are saying it is minus or plus minus pi by 2 so cos factor means power factor is 0 in that case So for all others, it can be, except LC, if it is RL or RC or uh, RLC or just R, means pure resistive. So all this, it is common here, R by Z. And Z can be like those things, XL minus XC plus R. <laughs> now, if R is zero, that means there is, no resistance. No resistance means there is no power loss. That is called wattless circuit. So wattless circuit means current is not flowing. So current is also called as wattless current. It is only possible for superconductors. Do you remember what are superconductors? We studied in third chapter. Sir, without resistance. Yeah. Zero resistance. Yes, sir. So if it is zero resistance, means no hindrance. So it will allow all the electrons to move through it easily. Yes, sir. Which is hypothetically possible for only few uh, materials. So active power and reactive power. Reactive power means VRMS, IRMS, sine file, which is wattless power. It is not actually read by an energy meter. Energy meter is the meter which is used at your houses. Active power means VRMS, IRMS, cos file, which is read by your energy meter. So, important points to remember, or we can say Kim points, as I used to say, Kim points, keep in memory. See, as I said before also, unless it is mentioned, all AC voltage and current are RMS value, which to be remembered. For resonance to occur, the presence of both L and C is required. Then only we can say L XL equals to XC. In the series resonance circuit, 
I is maximum at resonance and parallel I is minimum. Actually, for resonance, they will ask only theoretical question. For numerical type question, they will they have some RLC circuit. They will use those questions and make it. Okay, <clears throat> let's go to the next point. <clears throat> While adding voltage across different elements, different element in the sense all at R and C, these three elements we have, we should take care of their phases. That is most important. As we took here right now, we just wrote some formulas here. Where is it? Plus five. Yeah, for power, similar way. Yeah, this is common thing. Average current over one complete cycle is zero. But average power is not zero. And this is one common thing. Inductor offers negligibly low resistance path to DC and resistive path for AC. And capacitor acts as a blockage actually for DC and low resistive path for AC. So whenever we are using capacitor, it will block the current. In DC.
Okay, done. Written writing. This points. Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. Make sure that you just keep in mind when when we or next class when we are doing numericals, after series and all that, that I want you to just remember these points. Keep in mind. So that yes, it will be very very easy to solve your numericals whenever we do. Okay. Okay. Fine. Then we'll end our class here itself. Do you have any doubts now? Anything? No, sir. So, by the way, when will you send the PDFs? The oh, chapters? yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll just convert those, these notes uh, now itself. Can I export it? Convert as a PDF. Screen sharing. Oh, I do open from laptop. Okay, I'll do that. Okay, sir. Take care. Okay, but bye-bye. See you tomorrow.